Now, before we say, before I start this, I want to say this is, this is a massive spoiler for the show. I'm not going to spoil everything. I'm not going to spoil a lot. But if you not want to get spoiled by me, do not watch this video. Do not watch this video. Do not watch this video at all. So, that's out of the way. I like Zero One. In my opinion, it was a great show. So, what I mean by that is the characters, the, the message the show is trying to give. I like everything about it. But there are a few things I did not like about it. For example, I feel like Guy, a.k.a. Thouser, his arc, I feel like the tournament arc wasn't needed. Also, I want to say that I cannot stand Thouser, but... But the message that the message that he was giving about about people losing their jobs, he is right. Sadly, he is right. Let me that he is correct. People do lose their jobs like every day to other people, and and he is, he ain't lying. Sadly, I had to agree on him about that. <sighs> I can't believe I said that. Guy reminds me of Kanzaka from Feist. And I can't stand Kanzaka. But there are people going to say, Oh, but you don't but you don't understand his character. Oh, no, I do. I do. I understand his character. I understand his character. One bit. One percent. I, I understand Kanzaka's character. It's just, every time I watch both of these two on the screen, it hurts my head. But I want to say this, but people, for the people who sent Death Stretch to Guy's actor from Zero One, do not send Death Stretch to the guy. The guy did nothing wrong. He's just basically getting paid playing a, playing a Japanese, a Japanese character on an awesome Japanese TV show. Wait, I didn't mean, I did not mean to say it like that, but you know what I meant. The guy just playing, the guy just playing a character on a Japanese TV show. Ay ay ay. So back on saying it, zero one gotta be gotta be gotta be my third favorite comic by this season. Wait, what but but we just started the Wewa era. How could be your favorite? The message that the show is giving, I did like it. I'm not gonna say the message here. But the message, the message the show is giving, I like it. I actually did like it, not gonna lie. And besides that, my favorite character in the show isn't even Zero One. Isn't my girl, isn't Yaiba, because she's she the best girl in the Weaver era. No. My favorite character is Fua, aka Coming to Vulcan. Defender of Peace, he said. Ay ay ay. I like Fua's character development through all all the arcs. From the first arc to the last arc. I'm happy I'm happy that my man made a complete his mission. To be honest you to be honest you I feel like I feel like Fua had more I feel like Fua had the best character development in the whole entire show. Yeah, I know he's a second writer and all that, but he had he had the best character development in the whole entire show. <laughs> and also, I love how Vulcan, I love how Fua, has the ha, had this personality gimmick when he try to act all big and tough. He's all serious, but yet we we make like a crappy joke. He laughs really hard and dies. <laughs> Uh, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> I love. I love Vulcan. Vulcan and Vulcan and Valkyrie had a good relationship. They they treat each other like co-workers, and someone a little bit like a brother and sister relationship. You kind of see, but but I but I think they like that relationship pretty much. Oh my god. Also, I want to say this. I demand a V Cinema of Vulcan and Naki. I demand a V Cinema of Vulcan and Naki. 
Let's face it, they're gonna do it. It's Toei. Toei, Toei gonna milk anything for comedy related. Hey, they made the crap out of Deno, and now we're getting a new Deno movie that looked like, well, crap. Toei, Toei, do me a favor, Toei. Stop milking Deno. Deno's dead. You need to stop milking, you need to stop milking Deno. Deno's just dead. Oh, I can't stand Deno. It's so bad. But how do people even like it? I don't even get it, to be honest with you. Ah. <sighs> uh. Ay, 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 ay. My head hurts for talking about Deno. So, so, let's talk about Jin and Hirobi. Jin and Hirobi remind me of the two guys, the two bros, the two Hopper bros from Kabuto. You see, you see, Jin, you see, I did not see Hirobi and Jin as father and son. I see Hirobi and Jin, in my eyes, as brothers. Jin's the little one, and, Hiro and Hirobi's the big one. That's how it is for me. That's how it is for me. Hirobi's the, Jin's the little one, and Hirobi's the big one. And also, this series, this season had a lot of homage to the Henshin era. And I'm not the only one, don't lie. You see, they, they show a lot of homage to the Henshin era. <laughs> Funny enough, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy that homage. There, there, were, there were homage to Kabuto, x -Aid. Before I'm going to say, wait, Brazil won x 2 point. No, it's not. It's not. It is not. Stop bringing that argument up. Just because you saw similarity doesn't mean it's the exact same thing. For example, do you guys know that the act that the writer that did you guys know that Agito, Kiva, and Fight all had the same writer? Mm hmm They all they all had the exact same writer. Oh, do you guys oh, so take it by that logic, Bill and Gaim are the same. We have to both different in their own ways. Because Gaim and Bill had the exact same writer, so there's that as well. <laughs> just because the just be, just because the one writer is writing this one season doesn't mean it's the exact same. So that logic makes no freaking sense right there. So get get that out of the way. God just debunk that crap. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So back on so back on saying is Jin and Hirobi remind me of the Hopper Bros from Kabuto. I think they like it. Their, their, their relationship reminds me of, of, of as a brother as a as a brother in big brother relationship. I meant little brother and big brother, you know what I mean. And I like it. So let's talk about let's, let's talk about my best girl Valkyrie. I felt okay. I feel like Valkyrie was some. I feel like Valkyrie, in my opinion, Yaiba. Well, how can I say this? Was how can I say this? I feel like Valkyrie, in my opinion, is a sellout. Here's why. When, 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 when we found out that her boss was, uh, Zaya, was Guy, I said to myself, Yo, Valkyrie, why are you being a sellout to this guy? And I'm not the only one, I'm not the only one who saw, who said this. My man Fuwa said, Yaiba, what the heck is your dream? And why are you being a sellout to Zaya? And she did not, she did not like that. <laughs> she did not like that. Oh man, so awesome! I I like Valkyrie. I I like her. She was a good character. Still a time where see what that whole in the tournament arc. She was a sellout. She was a freaking sellout to Ames, and 
most to Ames and to her partner, Fua. And I did not like that, not one bit. That's so messed up. Ugh. Oh, man. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. But let me tell you, let me tell you one thing I did over the show. The beatdown. This show had a lot of brutal moments with with the so-called lighter kicks. Like, for like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how, uh, how the arc system... Uh, how the arc system, Hobobi, Naki, and the and the other guy, I forgot his name, the guy in the orange hair, I totally forgot his name. How all four of them gang up against Thouser and whoop his butt. <laughs> whoop his shiny golden butt. <laughs> I was laughing. I was laughing. <laughs> Also, also we can't I can't forget about the other part. I can't forget the other moment how Hobobi whoop how Hobobi whooped out his butt the first time. I was like, ooh, that's just brutal right there. That's just brutal and messed up. <laughs> Ouch. That's just so brutal and messed up that I just I can't I can't even right now, yo. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, man. So back on so back on what I was saying is Zero One isn't a bad show. Now where where did I put Zero One on my list of of Conway series from the Henshay from from phase one to phase two? This show is somewhat A tier for me. Yes, I'm yes, hold on, hold on. Before you say what why A tier? I I give Kamara and I give Kamara and Rizzer a chance. And when I watched the show, it wasn't boring. I think I I like it. It felt like it felt like more like a Power Rangers a Power Rangers season. A Power Ranger season instead of a Kamara season. Which I'm actually happy with. To my dude, I did I did kind of see it right now. Wizard is boring. Wizard isn't boring, in my opinion. That's just me. But people people do underestimate Wizard. Which is kind of sad. It's ain't for decay. Pe people judge decay because of how short it was. You guys do realize that decay was short due to uh, them working on double. So yeah. They're working on two comedy seasons at the same time. So I can't be mad at I can't be mad at Toby for that decision. It's just I give Zero One A tier cut. I like the story of all that. I like the story, I like the characters. There are some kids I can't stand, but besides that, also oh, I'm not done I'm not done with that. But yeah, Zero One deserves Zero One A tier for me. But I will talk about the final arc. Oh boy, let's talk about this arc. Okay. What the heck? What the heck happened after the arc was over? Every man, okay, I keep, okay, no, I have to say, I have to say this. Drive, Ghost, Gaim, <sighs> ay, 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 ay. These are the three seasons that. Someone finished the final ball before the final episode. Before the so-called last episode. I'm like, so there could be an epilogue episode then? It turns out we really had that. But yet, it, yet we found that it isn't over. I, I, I can't. For example, for Gimes. Oh, look. Look, the mo look our villain from the movie came back. Yeah, our so called our so called villain from the guy movie came back to possess this teenage girl to get revenge, but yet no, yet no one remembers him. Only God, only Kota does, but yet Kota isn't here. He's a god living in a god realm with Mai, so <laughs> he ain't here. Go ask Guy for more context for that for that for that part I just said. 
Oh, look at this for drive. Oh, look, a ghost icon. Oh, yeah. Uh, Look, there's Taku. There's Taku, aka Kamara the Ghost. And oh, look. Look, the ghost epilogue. Oh, look. I see a, look, I see a gacha. From, I see a video game gacha. That belongs to x -Aid. Oh, that's right. x -Aid for the next season. Then we got x -Aid. Nope, nothing there for x -Aid. Well, except for the movie. Then... Then that that we got my then we got that we got my favorite season, build. Nothing against build. I love build. It's just saying. I'm just saying. I feel like the show should have ended off with the after arc was over after they defeat arc. Arc was the so called big bad villain of the series. Th this guy caused a lot of problems, and yet after that. The show just the show just felt vanished a little bit. It felt it felt like it felt like you are Takahashi had no idea what the heck he was doing. What I mean by that is this. He had no idea what the heck he was doing after the arc was over. Like, oh yeah, the final defeat arc. Oh crap. What the heck am I gonna do for the last couple of episodes? You no, know it doesn't matter, I'll just write random stuff in there. I'll make our main hero, so called our main villain of this epi of this final arc have the final arc. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that to be honest with you. Also, is it me or is it Ozzy annoying? Because see see is annoying. Ozzy's annoying. I can't Ozzy would be the type of girl you would date, but yet but yet, at the same time, Ozzy would be the type of girl that you would be so, uh, uh that she'll bring it your inner dark side. Ozzy was just annoying to me. I just didn't like her. It just got me me. I just didn't like her in general. Oh, man, my head's hurting. Ugh. But, like I, like I can say again, Zero One is a good show. I like it. It's A tier for me on my list. This was a good start to the Henshin, to the, sorry, to the Wewa era. And it's sad for me to say this, but thank you, Comrade Zero One. You were a good season. Thank to the cast, thank to Toei. Thank to everyone that worked hard on this season. <sighs> Till next time, guys. I'm out.